This next event relates to Sands on Faders. Here in the middle of the desk I have my Aux Masters. Until this point with the XXL we've used the solo switch to put the input channels Sends to that aux on the faders, sends on faders. I'm listening to the channels I'm working on. Now this has, this is great, especially when you remember our auto on for the aux sends that works really well in sends on faders mode. Now here's a challenge: what happens if I have aux 16 is the lead vocal? The lead vocalist is very demanding, and I need to listen to him or her at all times. How do I get the, the other oxys onto my faders? How do I do sends on faders on the other oxys? So we've created an event where now I can use the color switches to have my sends on faders for oxys 9, 10, 11, 12, all my other oxys, whilst at the same time listening only to aux 16. So we've separated sends on faders from the AFL of that aux. Of course, if I want to keep working with AFL, only listening to the thing I'm mixing, I use solo. If I want to separate them, I use solo to listen and color switch to mix. So I can listen to aux 12 and mix 9, 10 and 11 from here. So let's take that one degree further. So right now I've got aux 9 on my sends on faders. I have a lot of banks to get through to find all of the inputs that I could send to aux 9. What if I only want to see the channels that are currently switched on in the aux 9, the members of aux 9? I can just spill that aux with two taps of the attention key. And now I'm only seeing the channels that are switched on in aux 9. So basically it's a filter by on. So how about this one? So now I want to listen to aux 16. I want to only see the members of aux 16. And there's, because there's more than 24 channels, I have here three different banks. If I want to stay listening to the thing that I'm mixing, to the aux that I'm mixing, and see only the members that are switched on in that aux, I can now just continue with the solo switch. So I'm listening to the aux I'm soloing, and I'm seeing on the faders only the channels included in that aux. You'll see that there's two movements. The first movement is putting the sends on faders for aux 11. The second movement is filtering by on. Okay, let's show you how we created that event. So I've just been explaining to you how to separate the sends on faders from using solo or AFL on the aux and the color switch. So I can separate listening to an aux and mixing an aux. So before we start, just a reminder, options, buses is where I will find the option to put my sends on faders to follow AFL from monitor bus A and from monitor bus B. Okay, back to the event. It's a very simple event, actually. One event, aux auto flip, I call it. The trigger is any aux color switch pressed. So that means if I press the color switch on any aux, the action, this action will happen. And the action is sends on faders of the trigger strip. So when I press the color switch on a particular aux, that aux will be flipped or to sends on faders. This action is a toggle and it's a latch. That means when I press it once, it will go to sends on faders. When I press it again, it will take it out of sends on faders. So where do I find these triggers and actions? Let's just delete the trigger. So it's a control switch. I don't want it for any strip. I just want it for the oxy. So here it is, any aux. It's not the mute I want as my trigger. I want the color switch. Okay, that's very simple. Then the action is sends on faders, trigger strip, toggle latch. So I'm going to delete that. Sends on faders is down here. It's a trigger switch. It's toggle and latch are actually the default. And that's it. There's my aux color switch auto sends on faders.